So this friend. You're here. Thanks again for agreeing to this. Don't be. I only just arrived myself. The highest priority for today is establishing good negotiations with the Chief of Wildfire. I'm about to get that process underway. Serval was a little delayed on the way over, but that doesn't affect our schedule. Let's set off. Hold up, I wasn't that late. Negotiations will be held in the Boulder Town Clinic. Serval and I are newcomers, so you'll have to lead the way. The Underworld isn't exactly how I remember it. Feels like we're... We're not getting many friendly looks, huh? Well, well, well. I don't think our little clinic has ever played host to an occasion like this. We meet again, Mr. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg will do, son. Oh, you. You probably won't know. Our young Silvermane friend here and I had the pleasure of speaking to each other at a certain guardian succession ceremony. We're not complete strangers. But as for this young lady... The name's Serval. I'm, uh, an... Ex-engineer from the technology division, and... Japard's sister? Pleasure to meet you, Chief. Likewise, miss. The more the merrier. 
And it's good to have you here again. It bothered me and Natasha that we never arranged a formal welcome for you. Once we're done talking, you must all join us for a meal. We'd be honored. But to your point, Oleg, let's finish our discussions first. Quite right. Let's head inside. Too much commotion out here. Huh. So she's your sister. <laughs> the Landau family is full of talented young people, I see. You're worried that Underworlders might still hold a grudge against the Silvermane Guards. So you want to show your solidarity with the Trailblazers to build some trust. Seems like a sound strategy to me. Rebuilding trust between the two worlds has always been a priority for Lady Bronya. People here must have felt abandoned by the guards after the passage was sealed off. If we were to simply take over the Underworld in the name of the Supreme Guardian, I can only imagine how people would react. Seems like you have a good handle on the situation. I see now why you made captain at such a young age. <laughs> So, you're also saying the Guards want to work with Wildfire and use our reputation to win back people's support, correct? I wouldn't use those exact words, but that is more or less what we want to achieve. If that's the case, I've got a question for you. Since this offer comes from those who left us to our fate for more than a decade, how would you react if Wildfire refused? Would you use force? Uh, she's not trying to be diplomatic about it, is she? Who is she, anyway? <sighs> the barrier between the surface and the underground was the product of the former Supreme Guardian's misjudgment and the policies that resulted from it. The people of Bellabog should have stood together, but instead, we were made to blame and hate one another. Lady Branya wants Bellabog to heal, so the Silvermane Guards need to regain the people's trust. But we won't achieve that by kicking doors open and policing everyone around. As a grassroots organization, Wildfire did an extraordinary job maintaining order for over a decade in the absence of the Guards. I can only imagine how much work you put in to protect the Underworld. I can assure you, that the guards are not here to seize power. If it takes time for the people to trust us, so be it. We're willing to take small measures and serve as an auxiliary force to Wildfire to help maintain peace. I hope you can see that everything we do, we do to rebuild trust and make Bellabog work for all. He never used to be this emotionally intelligent. <laughs> That's an answer I can accept. <laughs> Oleg, what do you think? <laughs> I think there's no need for the guessing game to continue. It's obvious we share the same goal. With the help of Branya, Serval, and Chapard, we're one step closer to rebuilding a united Bellabog. I agree. Tell Branya that Wildfire will work with the Silvermane Guards on security matters. However, things aren't simple down here. Please also tell her to draw up plans in case the situation demands- <laughs> Monsters! Monsters from the Fragmentum! They're swarming toward the town! Not good. Stay here, Natasha. The patients need you. The soldiers and I will handle this. Understood. We'll be counting on you. Everyone rushed outside. I should probably see what's happening. P please, help my friends! The, the monsters invaded the mine! Please, you have to save my friends! Otherwise those things would tear them apart! Don't worry. The Silvermane Guards are trained for these situations. Where do we find them? The Great Mine! The one with the big ore vein! Understood. I'll send my men to set up a perimeter and start the rescue operation right away. Mr. Oleg, please entrust the Silvermane Guards with the rescue. The defense of Boulder Town will need Wildfire's expertise. Watch out for ambushes. 
and be ready to receive wounded soldiers. <laughs> You're a natural-born commander. Understood. Leave it to me, son. Your troops will be unfamiliar with the layout of the mine. I'll send some of my men to be your guides. Thank you. In the name of the preservation, I promise we'll do everything we can to save lives. I'll go on ahead and lead the troops to the mine. Catch up to us when you can. I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. A duty-bound soldier and a resistance leader. It's hard to be rock and roll in front of people like that. You know, maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. <laughs> I know. Anyway, don't worry. I'm doing fine. It's just... I see people fighting for their lives, and here I am thinking about how to escape. I feel guilty about that. Wait a minute. Was that Japart's plan all along? Use guilt to make me stay? <sighs> That's true. Anyway, since he asked for help, it's time to give those monsters a shock. You know the way to the Great Mine, right? Let's catch up with Japard when you're ready. That's all you needed to say. Let's go. Put all artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover our infantry advance. We have a choke point here. Tell all infantry units to switch to double line formation. Close quarters in front, gunners behind. Remember, get the wounded out as soon as possible. And always secure your flanks before advancing. Yes, sir. Ah, you're here. Get ready. We need to help the infantry lines drive deep into the mine. The back of the mine has been secured, which gives us a forward base to send in supplies. The Silver Main Wildfire Combined Regiment is conducting rescue missions as they advance. The battle is fierce. I need to get to the front line. I'll leave the command post to my officers. I... I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. The situation here is totally different from the restricted zone. Japard, let me and him clear the way for you. You should stay in your command post. Thanks, Serval, but please trust my judgment on this. I made a promise to Mr. Oleg to save as many people as possible. I have to see to it myself. There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, we'll do it your way. Let's move out. We need to clear a way for Wildfire and the guards. All civilians, please go to the bridge immediately. The Silvermane guards have set up a defensive perimeter. You'll be safe there. There's a monster heading this way. What should we do, Japard? Bring it down. We need to cover the retreat. I have no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. Reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! It made it easy for us, but we can't let our guards down. It's safe here. Let's move on. Oh, 
will of preservation. Songs for you. This will strengthen our position. The truth of life and death. Reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Japard, look! The miners have put up a makeshift defensive line. Uh, are you... a Silvermane guard? That's right. We're evacuating the miners together with Wildfire. Are there any other civilians up ahead? The Silvermane guards and Wildfire are working together now? Oh, civilians. Saw a girl run out from our defensive position just now. My brother went after her, but they haven't come back. Understood. I'll bring them back. The guards and wildfire have set up defenses on the bridge. You should head over. Thank you. Please, bring them back to safety. Uh, oh no! Uh, monsters are coming this way! Leave the battle to us. You need to fall back. Okay. Thank you for saving us. Move carefully. I'm on guard. Yet. Keep up. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Ready to jam. You can fight it, or rock with it! Not today. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Lands at the ready. Shot. That's better. <sighs> Ready to jam. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. I'm on guard. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Burn it up! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Naughty child. <laughs> nice teamwork. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. I have no interest in conflict.
Let's keep searching for the missing girl and the miner. Is it me or is it cold here? Preservation! This will strengthen our position. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Songs for you. Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Fighting is meaningless. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! Pretty good crowd today. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break. This song's for you. Let's rock! <laughs> Not bad. Naughty child. <laughs> Lance at the ready. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Time for a shot. Nap time. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! <laughs> time for the main event. Speed up! I'm on guard. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up! <sighs> Past victory. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Will of Preservation! They're in danger. Let's go. Move carefully. Lance at the ready. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! <laughs> I'm on guard. This song's for you. Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> That'll take. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Naughty child. Nap time. Fighting is meaningless. Keep up. 
You two. It's too dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards in Wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Zeno, take my hand. Let's get out of here. It's so cold here. I'm scared. The monsters have gotten stronger somehow. I don't remember them being this difficult. Thank goodness we got here in time. If we'd arrived any later... That's one brave little girl. <laughs> you were like that at her age, too. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the passageway. Vowing to protect the Underworlders in one breath, and then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. What a joke. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. Never mind. I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. At least now we've got the chance to right the wrongs. I'm angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. Running away doesn't solve the problem. It's been ages since you two had those fights, but you still can't let it go. You need to walk out of his shadow. I I'm not trying to change your mind. I just want to know that your choice to leave this planet is a result of having thought things through. Not because you're trying to run away from something. My choice. Sorry. I sound like Dad. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I get what you're trying to say. I, I do. It's just... I need some time. Let's focus on the business at hand. That miner we met said his brother came this way. We should look around. Okay. Be careful, though. I sense a drop in temperature. Something's not right. It could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Stay on your toes. Monsters are tough. I need to find those kids. Hey, did you just scare off a Fragmentum monster? Uh, kind of. There was one on its own. I managed to chase it away. Speaking of which, you came from that direction, right? Did you see two little kids, a girl and her brother? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost him. They'll be okay now. You should head back to the bridge too. The guards and Wildfire have set up a safe zone there. Ah, oh, thank you. All of you. I'm just glad they're okay. I can finally retreat as well. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road, some kind of leader of the pack. I take caution. Thanks for the intel. We'll be careful. I think he was right about the monster. You two, no sudden moves. I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. Ready? Here we go. Wait, don't get too close. Something's not right. Huh? What is it? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. This could be a trap. I'm not sure either. I just have a feeling that something's different. The air... It's so cold. Stellaron... Promises... Survival... Did it just... talk? Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Jabard not hear that? Jabard... Survival... Londo... Did it just say Jabard and Survival? That noise! Do Fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? Talking? I just hear white noise. Wait, you understand it? 
our names? What's happening here? I heard rumors about this kind of monster. Shadows in the Fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past guardians. If the rumors are true, could it be? Nikolaya. You... You just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me, and yet you always manage to creep up again. Kakolia, you... you witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life. What else do you want to take away from me? Calm down, Serval. It's just a fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together, was any of it real? It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Serval! Lord, no. Stand down. There is no place for you. The promised new world. Sister, I know you want Madame Kakolia to respond, but this thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the Fragmentum. You won't get answers from it. <sighs> Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Of course, if you're not yet able to confront the past, then he and I will fight for you, until your heart is ready. <sighs> you too. I'm sorry, brother. I always make you worry when things get serious. But I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? Well, seeing as we've come this far, Kakolia. Let's settle this bad blood right here, right now. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <sighs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to jam. Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! Lands at the ready. Huh? Pretty good crowd Lance today. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Burn it up! Time for a shot. Time for the main event. Keep up! Nap time. No interest in conflict. I'm on guard. Hit. The song's for you. Let's rock! <laughs> Sagacious discernment! Fighting is meaningless. Lands at the ready. Lands ablaze. Lands! Forward! Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Naughty child. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! No, no interest in conflict. Serval! Serval! Why do you... Always have to stand in my way. The temperature is returning to normal. The monsters are retreating. I think it's safe to say that the shadow of Madame Kakolia was the reason for this invasion. The other anomalies we experienced were probably also a direct result. Whatever the case, we've managed to avert a crisis. Are you okay? Indeed it was. 
We're lucky to have an experienced fighter like you who can adapt to different enemies. It would have taken us much longer to fight off the Shadow without you. Serval, how are you feeling? I... I feel like something... heavy... has finally been lifted. All that noise before it perished. Did you catch what it said? I see. You really made no effort to correct your mistakes, Kakolia. Anyway... It doesn't matter anymore. From here on out, I'm over that woman. <laughs> I can tell you mean it this time. I'm happy for you, Serval. It's not easy to truly put the past behind you. Looks like we accomplished our mission. I need to get back to the guards and Wildfire to wrap things up. You two should head over to Natasha's place and check in on the wounded. Sure. Come find us later at the clinic. Let's leave Japar to his business and head back to town. It's getting late. Where to now? I see. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me up to speed. The clinic has been busy while you were gone. We've treated many people, soldiers and civilians alike. All in all, I owe everyone a big thank you. It would have been much harder if Wildfire had operated alone. Thanks to Captain Jepard, we managed to keep our losses to a minimum. I'm sure people will begin to appreciate the Silvermane Guards after this battle. <laughs> How could I forget about you two? We couldn't have done it without your help. You're too kind. They deserve the real credit. I doubt. Sounds like you went through a lot of danger. Are you hurt, Miss Serval? I can have a look if you like. I'm all right. Don't worry. Everything worked out eventually. Let's wait for the rest of them to get back. Miss Natasha, we've returned. Is that Japard? Mr. Oleg has a pretty good handle on what's needed in the mine. He's arranging for rescue teams and supplies to be sent over. He won't be back for a while. Looks like you guys have the situation under control. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to sit down and chat with all of you, but I still have a backlog of patients to see. Oh, there was a girl and her brother who said you saved their lives. You might want to check on them and see how they're doing. Natasha's right. We should make sure those children are all right. Come on, drink it up and you'll feel better. But there's smoke coming out of it. Uh, it's you. You saved us from the monsters in the mine. You guys are Silverman guards from the overworld, right? If you hadn't been there, we would have. I'll think of a way to repay you. I'll get a job and. That's very kind of you. If Mom and Dad were still here, they'd want us to return the favor. Mom and Dad went somewhere far away a long time ago. <laughs> Haven't come back yet. They'll come back one day, Zeno. So, you're looking after your brother on your own? That must be hard. <sighs> Not really. It's my responsibility as a sister. My brother is too young to survive in the underworld. The misjudgment of the former Supreme Guardian isolated the Underworld for more than a decade. With that isolation came tragedy. But under Lady Bronya's leadership, the Silvermane Guards will atone for past mistakes and bring relief to the people. From now on, you don't need to worry about the safety of your family. Captain Jepard, 
Taking care of yourself is hard enough under these circumstances, let alone if you have a brother to look after. I know it can't have been easy. Zeno, right? Yes, Mr. Captain. You're still young, so you need to stay under your sister's wing. But when you grow up, remember to use what you've learned to protect her. Be there when she needs you, and listen to her when she feels vulnerable. She'll do the same for you. <sighs> okay, sir. I'll protect my sister when I grow up. Thank you, Captain Shepard. Zeno and I will remember your words. You know, I'm pretty good at turning a happy reunion into a tear fest. Let's call it a day and give them some room. If you're not too tired, Jepard, can I talk to you for a moment? What you said back there. Did you really mean it? Of course I did. And it wasn't some last minute speech I cobbled together. It's how I always felt. We can't always face problems alone and build walls to keep people out. We need to learn to rely on others, especially those we care about the most. I know what you're up to, Jeppy. Huh? What do you mean? You made it sound like you were talking to those kids. But you were talking to me. <sighs> Who's building that wall now? <sighs> well, a Landau just called out a Landau. Uh, Jepard. I changed my mind. Change of plan. I've decided to stay in Bellapoc. Serval, I... I just want you to know that I would have supported your decision, no matter what you chose. I wasn't... I know that, Jepard. Don't worry. I've thought this one through for a change. What you said was the last piece of the puzzle for me. I suddenly... Realized that my decision to leave was just me trying to run away from my problems. It wasn't a mature decision. I've always found it hard to handle complex relationships. Be it... Cocolia, or... My family. The first thought I have when things don't work out is to run away. Starting from today... That's no longer the case. After all, I'm not doing this on my own, right? Right. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had any idea about the hardships people were going through in the underworld. It made me feel like... Maybe I could help a little. I make Bellabog a better place. I have one last thing that I might need your help with. I... I want to see the Stellaron. I want to see the place where Cocolia sacrificed herself. Say no more. We'll go with you. Oh, but before that, I need to go back to the workshop and get something. Why don't you head north first and we'll catch up with you? It's all right. I've got to part with me. We'll be safe. See you in a bit. Such advanced technology back in the day. Impressive. This is where Madame Cocolia died. Hmm. She gave something back in death. I wanted to come here to perform for Cocolia. To say goodbye. I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. 
Not the nicest spot for a show. And the equipment could be better. Sorry about that. The stage is yours, sister. Look at me, Kakolia. Don't you dare look away, because I will no longer live in your shadow! Happy? Happy. I just wish I could have seen the look on her face. Shame. <sighs> well, that's all from me. Thanks for sticking by my side throughout all of this. As for tonight, let's go to old Gerda's place and have a big feast to celebrate. <laughs> so, you're getting the tab? Preservation! <laughs> the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. sanctuary is but a vision! Break! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Move carefully. Keep up! Naughty child. Nap time. I've no interest in conflict. Sagacious discernment! Lands at the ready. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Or rock with it! Time for a shot. meaningless the truth of life and death the sanctuary is but a vision i'm on guard pretty good crowd today turn it up that's better nice team no interest in conflict not a scratch Time for the main event. Keep up! You can fight it, or rock with it! Nap time. Fighting is meaningless. I'm okay. 
Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> That'll take nap time. Things it's getting late. First. Where to now? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Lands at the ready. Good. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! 
Reach the end of the story in your own way. It's getting late. Where to now?
Clocking off. Finally. Blaze. Lance! Forward! Pretty good crowd today. Burn it up! <sighs> Ready to lose your son? You can fight it! Or rock with it! <sighs> Lance at the ready.
of preservation! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Or rock with it! I've no interest in conflict. Pretty good crowd today. Burn it up! Naughty child, nap time. I'm on guard, huh? Reach the end of the story in your own way.
It's getting late. Where to now? It's getting late. Where to now? stolen parts again? How am I going to track down this crook? Oh, it's you! There have been a few unusual thefts in the dwelling over the past few days. The vagrants say that the parts they worked so hard to obtain have completely vanished. They're worried that there's a thief in the dwelling. Despite our investigations, no one has been able to track down the thief. What's even stranger is that the thief appears to be only interested in stealing parts and doesn't care about other valuable items. The vagrants had no choice but to ask Mr. Sfarok to look into it, but he still hasn't found anything. I investigated the matter myself, but I came up empty-handed. Jeez, I'm baffled. What a strange thief. Are you also here to look into this case? Perhaps if we work together, we can uncover some clues that I missed. It's just... I haven't found enough clues yet. The thief is really tricky. They haven't left any traces in the dwelling. Oh, I heard the vagrants on patrol last night ran across the thief again, but I haven't had time to look into it. Should we go ask them? You sound so cool. You're like one of the characters from Mr. Sfarog's movies. Aren't they called... detectives? Seeing you so fired up has me excited too. Now, let's get started. the thief who stole the parts last night. Ah, who, who's there? Oh, Clara, it's you. I, I, 
I did see the thief last night, but... Trailblazer? Oh, I know! Oh, wow, I feel way better knowing that a big shot like you is here to catch the thief. Oh, okay, so, last night, I was... Goodness! Okay, I'll explain. I was cold and hungry while on patrol last night, so I decided to return to the dwelling. But when I entered the tent, the thief's silhouette scurried. I couldn't see the thief's face because the tent was so dark, but because when he turned to flee, he swung a knife right across my face. I could feel the blades chill on my cheeks and smell its rusty scent. Also, I saw the outline of him in the dark. The, can you believe that? Someone with a square head? It was... Oh, you're right. I see. I'll jot it down. Sir, please take a deep breath. So, the thief was armed with a metal... Yes! That's correct! Hmm... I'm struggling to make sense of these clues. I'm sorry. I was too scared. When a shadow leaps out at you... It seems that's everything. We now know one of the culprit's fifth... Ah, yes! I remember something! While the culprit was hurrying to escape, he... This is a crucial clue! Let's go investigate the crime scene together. I think he ran that way. No one has touched the crime scene, so any traces he left... Take a look at these marks. These are... they point in that direction. Let's go take a look. They don't appear to have been left by a human. Fighting is meaningless. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Dad? <laughs> you can fight it or rock with it. The tracks stop here. This is where the mechanical waste is disposed of, though. Um, I don't think the culprit actually likes blood split up. Wait, what? It's a tiny robot? Is it searching for something? It looks like it's carrying the vagrant's missing parts and those tracks and metal scratches we noticed earlier. Hmm. It appears we're thinking that this small robot doesn't appear to be a Bellabob creation. Ah! It's noticed us! I... human... injured... no... hurt! Please don't! I... I don't understand what it's saying. It appears to be trying to say something. Is it trying to say, please don't hurt me, humans? Human... parts... rivet... need... repair... need... town... parts... need... need... It appears to have a malfunction, but I think I can understand it. It seems that it needs these 
parts. I... I've never seen a robot with this kind of malfunction before. Although this small robot appears to want to communicate, perhaps there's an issue with its language module. Run! Escape! Open! Fire! Uh, it's running away! No, we can't let it escape. It still has the Vagrant's parts. What should we do? We gotta stop it. Hurt. Pain. No, hurt. Don't. Pain. Suffer. Sorry. Hurt. Suffer. Pain. No. Pain. Sorry. So. Free. Pain. Why? Sorry. Pain. Suffer. Sorry. It seems to have stopped working. Was it begging for mercy? I'm not sure what happened either. I... feel bad about this. I guess we should return this little fella and the parts. I think I can... I'll repair it. And if I can't, I'll ask Mr. Sparag for help. He always knows what to do. Initiating assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. While Mr. Svarag is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. Hmm? This paint job and these custom parts, and the way the parts are attached, it's all quite strange. But one thing is for certain. This little fella is not under remote control. He's operating entirely of his own accord. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot with a design like this before. It really seems like something that was thrown together rather quickly. Its creator most likely didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. Is it a failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? But if it's a pet, then why would it gather parts itself? I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Some vagrants also make modifications to their pets, which they call pet upgrades. Pets like that are pretty rare, but some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots, others force them into battle. If my memory serves me right, the parts this little fella stole were originally designed for that kind of pet upgrade. Hmm. This robot pet phenomenon really gets to me. Um, I'm sorry. I just suddenly felt some strong emotions. Let's get back to work on repairing the small robot. This Jack's placement is... odd. The chip is buried deep inside. If you don't look closely enough, you won't even find it. Assessment of the robot's condition is complete. The shell damage is estimated to be 98.2%. The assessment concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and replaced while keeping the outer circuitry and related transmission devices. You can always rely on Mr. Svarag to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a new robot shell to fix it, right? Hmm... I'm not sure if anyone sells this kind of thing. However, there must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but there are actually lots of useful parts buried there. I'm gonna return the parts to the vagrants first, then I'll check on the little fella. 
Can I trust you to find a shell in the machine graveyard, big brother? <laughs> really? You could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then, I'll entrust this task to you, big brother. Look for Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is... crude, but he is the robot most familiar with the machine graveyard. Just follow Toby. Guests of Miss Clara, please do as you wish. It's my honor to serve you. Miss Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. Would you like to engage in super speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise ten times, then clockwise by 270 degrees. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We have arrived at our first destination. This model is known as the Dire Wolf, and was- Robot pet battles sound a little frightening. Hmm. The inside of the armor is a total mess due to being melted by the heat. Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our way to the second destination. Please take a seat. You have exceeded the speed limit. Please obey Bellaborg traffic laws. On the road, safety is the top priority. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! I'm on guard. <laughs> Eat up. You can fight it or rock with it. Time for a shot. Nap time. No interest in conflict. Lands at the ready. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We have arrived at our second destination. This machine was scrapped because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted. That is such an odd reason to be scrapped. However, the shell appears to be in good condition. So I'll bring it with me. Your trip has concluded. Please keep an eye out for vehicles approaching from the back. Your trip has concluded. I appreciate you putting your trust in Toby.
a five-star review for this trip has been automatically generated for you. You're welcome. Clara, it's time for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Don't worry, Mr. Svarag. I'm fine. Oh, you're back already. How did it go? Did Toby help you find a shell? This shell... Hmm... It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's, but it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Thank you for bringing this to me. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do is move all this circuitry into the new shell. Although its appearance has changed a lot, I think we did a good job. Hmm... But what I just did... Is it any different from those pet upgrades that the Vagrants perform? Not... Compatible! In...compatible! Huh? It's making a strange sound! Incompatible! In... Well, what's going on? Is it malfunctioning? Incompatible! in com Incompatible! in Incompatible! 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 Incom Risk level high. Clara, get away now! Big Brother, watch out! It's out of control! Incompatible! Finding is meaningless. Incompatible! 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 Let's go! Now time. Terminate. Terminate. Phew. That was close. Fortunately, Mr. Svarak and Big Brother acted fast. Why did the little fella... Was there a compatibility issue? Troubleshooting. Assessment. The system on the chip and the new hardware are incompatible, causing the robot to behave erratically. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level, low. Alert, lifted. It appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great, but... I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. Compatibility tests should take a few days. Hopefully, it'll be all back to normal by then. I'm also curious about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back later, Big Brother? I need to look into something. I may require your assistance. Thank you, Big Brother. I'll text you when this little fella is fixed. Mr. Sparrock, I'd like to give this little fella a name. Any ideas for a good name? Accessing name database. Search results. Abby. Abigail. Ada. Addison. I should come back to Clara later. 